Sup all, JC3 here, the baller of YouTube, the general. Welcome to Topic Tackle. My take for today is on why Kevin Durant is the most unique player to ever play in the NBA. I get that this take will probably be unpopular again just because whenever you say anything positive about KD, people immediately point out that he joined the Warriors, so yeah. It is what it is, and by this tweet response, you basically get how KD himself feels about it. Today, I don't want to focus on who he plays for, I just want to analyze the basketball player alone, and hopefully you can be open-minded here and track with me on this one. Thank you for all the support on the past videos as well, including the video I did on KD. I released it on July 4th, and people continue to leave feedback on it, which is great. My goal is to make content that you care about and can have an opinion on, so if you enjoyed this video and want more, give it a thumbs up and leave your feedback in the comments down below. So I'll start by saying that this was a hard decision to make. The definition of unique on Google is being the only one of its kind, unlike anything else. There is no unique stat in the NBA, so here is what I did to come up with this conclusion. Out of all the players in NBA history, whose physical traits and actual performance on the court combined has no comparison. For example, MJ is widely accepted as the greatest of all time and he definitely has unique qualities, but Kobe came along and basically mirrored MJ. MJ. From the killer instinct to the fadeaway to stealing a lot of his moves, the fact that he did this doesn't make MJ less great, just makes him less unique because another player came along and copied him. Literally, both players were six foot six and weighed virtually the same as well. After this comparison, we look to LeBron, who I have to say, even though I've never been a fan of his, is definitely a player unlike any we have ever seen. He has some of the traits that can be seen in other players like Julius Irving, athleticism, Magic Johnson facilitating, a prime Adrian Dantley scoring, and Oscar Robertson and Scott. Pippen all around play, but the only problem is none of these players were 6 foot 8, 250 pounds, small forwards that could get to the rim whenever they wanted. LeBron beats all of them by a wide margin when it comes to dominance and physical presence on the court. Now with that said, here's my case for Durant, which is inspired by an article I read on SB Nation by Ricky O'Donnell. Keep in mind that Durant admitted in December that he is actually 7 feet tall with shoes on and not his 6'9 listed height. Throw aside your dislike of KD or his team for a moment and think about the basketball player only. LeBron can't shoot like Durant, Larry Bird wasn't as quick, Magic didn't have the range, and MJ wasn't 7 feet tall. Every tall skinny kid that plays forward gets the Durant comparison because KD is the modern standard for what teams want in a small forward. He is tall and long with a 7'5 wingspan, can get to his spot fast with long strides creating his own shot off the dribble, can run off the ball, around screens, or off a pick, and then roll to get open, can nail threes from 35 feet out, has the quickness and passing ability of a guard, and can protect the rim like a center. And when you close out on him, he'll just shoot over you with ease. He scores like Kobe, but at a much more efficient rate. His performance in the finals this year was one of the most efficient in NBA history. Via the article, there's only one player in league history who has ever had Durant's combination of size and shooting. That's Dirk Nowitzki. On his way to the Mavs 2011 championship, Dirk canned 23 three-pointers over 21 games in the playoffs. Consider that Durant just drained 40 threes in 16 games in these playoffs. Look at some of the passes Durant threw in the finals. Reminiscent of LeBron? I didn't like Kobe when he was in his prime, but when he retired, I began to think about how great of a player he really was. Don't do the same with Durant. You may not like him, but at least recognize his individual greatness as a basketball player because there probably won't be another player like him again. He has no comparison. Durant essentially possesses qualities from all the past greats before him. He is the most unique player ever because no one has ever come close to resembling him in the past, and unless Michael Porter Jr. grows two inches in height, and adds 5 inches to his wingspan, he won't have the same physical traits as Kevin. To add, no other player in NBA history responds to more trolls on Twitter, so he automatically wins that category. So let me know what you think in the comments down below. Who do you think is the most unique player in NBA history and why? Remember to subscribe, like, and leave your feedback comments down below, and we'll be back with more Topic Tackle soon. JC3, out!